Hey everybody, I'm Scott, and this is my YouTube channel, The Quilting Camper. And guess what we're doing today? Yes, you know it. We're gonna unbox 24 So Sampler boxes by the Fat Quitter Shop. Two years worth of subscriptions. Is this subscription worthwhile to have for two years? Well, why don't you join me and we'll find out together. I can't wait. Welcome back. I'm so glad you decided to join me on this massive unboxing of 24 So Sampler by Fat Quarter Shop boxes. You know, this has been such a journey for me to have such a magnificent subscription box. Now you're all gonna ask me, Scott, why do you have 24 boxes that you never opened? When I got these 24 boxes, my YouTube channel wasn't really focused on quilting and sewing and photography, and it wasn't the quilting camper. So I love this because I learned how to do quilting in the pandemic periods. Around 2019, 2020, 2021 was the year I started teaching myself how to quilt. But you know what, I didn't teach myself by myself. I did it alongside the YouTube channel, Fat Quarter Shop. And let me tell you, I am so grateful for the people at Fat Quarter Shop. I couldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for Fat Quarter Shop. I learned so much from them. Yes, I didn't really unbox these officially because I didn't have a YouTube channel focus at that time. But when I re-signed back up in 2023, I started making videos every month on their unboxings. And I'm going to continue to do that because I love them so much. I thought, let's go back in time and check out all those boxes that I never opened. Now, I did look at them, I did see the theme, but I never took anything out. So this is what we're going to do today. We're gonna go ahead and unbox everything, but I'm gonna do it so it's sped up. You don't have to watch me go through everything. This will be a, a quick video, believe it or not. And I'm going to unload all the items, and I'm going to sort the themes, the fabric, the notions, the home decor items, things that are different like planners, books, that sort of thing, and then the patterns. We don't wanna forget the patterns. I'm going to set them up on separate piles. And I'm going to choose at the end of the unboxing my favorites. I'm gonna to try to limit it to one, but there might be two of each of those categories, just to kind of celebrate how awesome this box is. Now, if you're wondering how much these boxes were, for two years. This is at a time when the boxes were $24.99. Now they are $29.99, it only went at $5. But I'm going to give credit where credit is due. These boxes were $24.99 and times 24, that comes to $600. It was like $5.99 something. I'm not gonna add the tax and shipping because that varies from place to place. And then of course, when I'm done unboxing everything, I'm going to calculate. <laughs> <laughs> the value of all the boxes together. That's gonna take quite a time, but I'm gonna enjoy doing it because I'm gonna tell you the value of these boxes are phenomenal. And even though I paid $600 over a two year period, I know darn well there's at least $1,000 worth of stuff in these boxes total. It kind of makes it like a treasure hunt. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video just to organize my space and start the unboxing. So I will hope you'll join me through that process. But before we do that, Please note that my channel is growing, and I'm really thrilled about that. You guys, in October and early November, we have gained 22 new subscribers. I can't believe that. My heart is so warm right now. I am so thrilled to death that you guys decided to choose me as a place that you want to grow with. And yes, I do have several videos coming down the pipeline. Putting little shorts to kind of give you a preview of what I'm working on has really been helping. But I'm just excited to do something special for all of you. So this is kind of a celebration. This isn't like, oh, you know, I don't know if I like this box. I love this box, okay? I'm not sponsored by Fat Quarter Shop. And if they wanted to give me a free box every month, I wouldn't say no. But I would still give my true honest opinion of what's in there. But I do pay for all these boxes and I will continue to do that. So I wanna thank you so much. And I wanna continue to grow my channel. You can see all these boxes of stuff. I'm gonna put them into my craft room with my new organizational tools that I've been creating. I would love to give some of these things away, but I can only do that with your help and support. So by sharing my videos, hitting the like button, putting comments below, and of course, subscribing if you haven't already. The more I grow this channel, the more opportunity I will have to be able to share things with you and do giveaways. 
But right now, the way my channel is, it's not financially or fiscally responsible for me to do that. It costs quite a bit to ship things to people and I wanna make sure I do it in a way where it's gonna benefit me and also benefit you. So as my channel grows, I promise we will be able to do giveaways. But right now, we need to continue to share that kindness, share the sharing of creativity, and share the quilting camper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and kinda of organize my space before I do the unboxing. See you in a bit. So what I'm going to do is open up one box just to kind of go through it, what we're going to do together, and then I'm going to speed it up so that way you're not, oh my gosh, how long is this video going to take? Yes. But I'm so excited about doing this. I have waited so long to go through these boxes because I was saving them just to do this video. I can't believe that we're going to do this together. All right, so we're going to take one box like this. Yay. Pretend we just got it, right? Hey, everybody, this is the So Sampler box for, I don't know, we'll find out. February of 2020. I love it. That is so cool. And the theme is Lucky Charm. So I'm going to put this in one pile. So these are my themes, right? And then we're going to put the fabric cuts on this cute little tray here. And these are some charm packs from Minnick and Simpson. And it is called Mackinac Island. They're so cute. Red, white, and blue, kind of traditional classical. So I'm going to put those right here, OK? Then I have some notions. I have a cute little template here, a spool of thread. <gasps> oh my gosh, and see, and I need this too. <laughs> So this is that diagonal seam tape, the tape that you put on your sewing machine to help you figure out where a quarter inch is and where the center point is. Everybody uses this. And you know, it has been a thing for quite a while. And it came in the 2020 box. And that's why. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to keep this. But we're going to go ahead and put this in one pile with my notions. And you know what? I think I'll make a separate pile for thread because there are threads in the box. Now, I could be wrong. There may not be a lot of threads. So... We'll definitely do that. In the last two years, Fat Quarter Shop has been putting a ton of thread in our boxes. We'll have a fabric pile. We'll have a notions pile, a thread pile. Of course, you can't see this, can you? Okay, and then, <laughs> and then we'll have a theme pile, and then we'll have our patterns, just like this. I'm not going to really go through the block of the month. I am definitely going to choose my favorite pattern out of the bunch. So we'll put the patterns together here. And then, of course, I need my little card because that's how I'm going to calculate what's in each one of these boxes. And then I'm going to make a big mess in here because I have 23 more boxes to undo. I'm going to speed up the video. If I find something really awesome, I'll stop and say, hey. <laughs> All right, let's get unboxing. Okay, this is where I pause for a little bit from the unboxing. I am so thrilled to death that the seam roller was in these boxes. I have been looking for this. <laughs> I knew it was in one of the boxes from the past, and I so could use this when I do my camping trips when I don't want to power up my little iron. So this is really cool. The Sweet Snips Fabric Scissors. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so great. It's a nice medium-sized scissors that you can use for ribbons or trims, bindings, and even for some small piecing. Just love it. And of course, these quilting gloves. I've only gone through three boxes, and they're really awesome. Oh, and of course, by surprise, another spool of Aurifil in there. That's really cool. All right, I'll continue unboxing.
Okay, we're gonna take a little intermission here, point out some really cool things. This Riley Blake Beauty Bundle. This was really cool. This was in a 2022 box. It's got like a lip gloss, a hand sanitizer, and a hand cream. So cute, branded with Riley Blake. I just thought that was adorable. So that's gonna go in a separate pile for like home decor and beauty care. <laughs> I'm finding that there's a lot more stuff in these boxes than I had remembered. Love getting foundation paper piecing stuff like these, the snail foundation block. And also they had some half square triangles on a roll, two and a half inches, it's so cool. And of course we got another spool of thread. I can't believe it. And some of these new pins that I see a lot of people using that are safe to use when you're pressing. I think those like a little sampler of those. All right, let's continue. We're halfway through the unboxing. I had to go get one of my cute little 3D printed little trays to put all my threads in there. I'm so impressed with all the thread that are in these boxes. There was a box in here that was so special to me, you guys. And that is because I fell in love with Layla Boutique when this collection came out. Kimberly Jolly did a special table runner edition using this particular pattern called Harvest Road. And I'm telling you, this just won my heart over, over, and over again in terms of the colors and the patterns. And it's why I fell in love with Vanessa Gertzen's Layla Boutique line. This is where it started. And I had the best opportunity this past year at HH Americas in Chicago to meet Vanessa Gertzen. I told her, I became addicted to you when you created Harvest Row. And she's like, oh, that was such a classic during the pandemic. And that's exactly what it was. I got a hold of a jelly roll and made a table runner and a couple tables squares with it. It's such a beautiful pattern. I know I got a little excited when I was unboxing and found these. Now I have two charm packs. I know I won't be able to find any more cuts of this unless I go to Etsy, which is a great place to go, by the way, if you're looking for some maybe three, four, five-year-old prints from some Moda designers or Riley Blake, it's a great place to go. So I was so happy to find this in there. So I'm going to put these with my charm pack stack right here. A couple other things that I found were Creative Grids ruler. You know I love Creative Grids. We all use them in our room for sewing and quilting. It's a four and a half. I already have a four and a half, so this would make a really nice gift. Well, you know how we need to get there. Um, <laughs> until then, maybe this will go in my travel bag because four and a half is a popular size block, cutting it down from a five inch block. So I have that. This was kind of cool. This is a little container to put your needles in. And of course, we have two more foundation block piecing. This one here is the Courthouse Steps. This was from Lori Holtz by Riley Blake Designs, the Sparkle Star. And I remember seeing the video for this. It, it's bringing back lots of memories and that's what I love about this. So we're halfway through. I keep tallying up the totals here. <laughs> They're all over the board. Oh yeah, there was one other thing in this box that was a controversial box, and I just have to stop for a moment. It was this box here. It was from February of 2021. It was called Make a Splash, and it came with <laughs> a pattern that was controversial. I saw a lot of YouTubers saying, ooh, this is not my favorite box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. And I'm like, but it was really cool. And I guess that's because for me, I like things that are a little bit different other than traditional. It took a 
Bella Salad panel and made it into a quilt. And I thought it was really cool. It came with a bunch of fat ace that were Bella Salads, as well as this reference panel that you can use to reference the colors. I mean, how cool is that? I've been to a couple local quilt shops here in Wisconsin where people actually made their smocks out of this fabric panel, which I thought was cool. <laughs> right there. But there were some people online that weren't happy and they stopped their subscription because of it. You know what? Not every box is gonna be good. It's not every box is gonna call to our heart. When I purchase these boxes every month, I know I'm helping out an amazing company, which is the Fat Quarter Shop. It's an online enterprise, started out of a home and now is in a warehouse in Buda, Texas. It has a YouTube channel and Kimberly Jolly is the face of the company, even though she runs it with her husband and some amazing customer service people. I feel like I'm doing something good by supporting them. And yes, I'm realizing I don't know where I'm gonna go with all these notions and I'm only halfway through. It kind of brings me some joy. It's my little bit of joy that I like like to do these boxes and I know where I'm putting my money is going to a good place. They do such great things. So let's continue unboxing. Okay, so we're gonna pause a little bit, talk about some of the things I liked in this last collection. This was cool, the cutting gizmo from Gypsy Quilter. I've seen Kimberly use this quite a bit in her piecing. Cut threads when you do chain piecing, so that's kind of cool that's in here. And of course this was one of her favorites, and that is the Arlene Seam Align Gentle Hold Glue. You can use it to bind, keep your seams down. I've seen them use this quite a bit. It's cool that it is in this box. This I'm not sure about. I remember when this came out. This is a pin wand from the Gypsy Quilter. You know, it's cute. This was kind of interesting. It was the Magic Seam one by June Taylor. June Taylor is a local business here in Wisconsin. And this was in the box featuring Cory Yoder fabric. It's a cute little pin cushion. It's just really cute. It looks like her gray polka dots. I really like that. That's cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these notions. <laughs> this is just insane. It looks like I went shopping in a notion store and just kind of lost my mind. <laughs> all right, we're gonna continue to unbox the rest. that I'm unboxing, and it was my very first box. I know, is that not the coolest? I even have it labeled on here, hello. <laughs> that was my first box, it was October 2019. I signed up in September of 2019 for the first time with So Sampler, and it was such a cute box too. When I first got this box, I realized I wanna continue to do it going forward. Oh my goodness, so cool. And I really like the pattern. It was called Banana Leaves. It's very modern. 
I like it, kind of playful. And it had a cool calendar for that year of all the Kona colors. It's inspired by Robert Kaufman fabrics. Everyone loves Kona. It's kind of like the basic go-to. I really like that. And I think this one also had kind of a fun thing. It was like a little tin that had a very nice contemporary design on it. And it has the Fat Quarter Shop logo on the back. It's really cute. I was just really in awe of this box. And this was my very first box with Fat Quarter Shop. And then these are sewing edge reusable vinyl stops for your machine. If you want to stick them along your quarter inch or if you want to do a scant of a quarter inch, this is a nice guide you can put on your machine without gumming it up. That's cool. And of course, a fat eighth bundle. And I do believe it's Robert Kaufman fabric. Oh, so cool. Very first box, you guys. So in this last round that I did, some of my favorite things are this cute little cut in mini press by June Taylor. Super cool, great for bringing on a retreat. We got some cute little colorful bobbins, although I can't use these in my machines. I know that they look like brother bobbins. Free Spirit, which is fabric by Tula Pink, and that box had some cute stuff in it too. It had some unicorn pins. It was just adorable. Another thing that I found in the box was the Endurance Blade. These are always wonderful to have. I know I've talked about that. Oh, and the fabric, that's right. Zen Chic had a cool fabric line, a Junior Jelly Roll. And I just love this line, it's so beautiful. It's got yellows and grays and, and whites and off-whites. It's fun, Zen Chic is very contemporary, but I kind of like her aesthetic. I like the things that she has, and it's one of my favorite designers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of organize this a little bit, make it look a little bit more pretty. It looks like someone just dumped a bunch of stock on a table, and I'm gonna make it look nice. I have some Tupperware containers, I'll make it look pretty. Was this not the craziest thing? <laughs> I can't get over all the fabric pre-cuts here. This is mind-blowing for me. My collection is on steroids now. Two years of sew sampler boxes by the Fat Quarter Shop. Look at all of the fabric that we get in these boxes in two years. It's unbelievable. So I shared my favorites as I did the unboxing. So it was sped up and then I slowed down, sped up and slowed down. I have a pile of beautiful turquoise boxes. I'm gonna recycle them. And I did kind of think about some of my favorite items. I said I was gonna choose my favorite fabric, my favorite notion, my favorite pattern. That's gonna be really hard, but I think I have it figured out. I just love getting threads in my boxes. Six of them are Aurifil, and the other one is Metrozine, which is really good thread too. My favorite cut of fabric, there's two. I have to go with two. I'm gonna have to say the Junior Jelly Roll by Zen Chic. This one is really quite awesome, and I probably will make a table runner it because there's enough in here for one table runner. The other pre-cut are the two charm packs from the Harvest Road collection by Lalo Boutique, Vanessa Gertzen for Moda Fabrics. I think it was this collection that kind of made me realize that designers that create their fabric patterns for Moda, for Riley Blake, Robert Kaufman, Andover, their personal lives go into their designs. Lalo Boutique definitely has that touch to her products and I absolutely adore her. I love her patterns. One thing I didn't see in this entire unboxing is I didn't see any Robin Pickens. I definitely had quite a bit of Cora Yoder, Sherry and Chelsea, Minnick and Simpson, Fig Tree, and from other companies like Riley Blake. I'm not really familiar with all their designers, but definitely Lori Holt is in here, and also Free Spirit, I have Tula Pink. So there's some really cool fabrics in here, and I'm really excited that it's very diverse. There's quite a bit of Layla Boutique in here, and that makes me excited. Yes, I was so excited. So this is like, it's almost like Christmas morning. It's like, holy cow, look at all this stuff. So what was the total of everything in this collection? Well, like I said, for two years, I spent about $600 
for 24 boxes. And I can tell you right now that not only is it double of what you get in value, it's just a little bit more. So the total retail value of everything that's here is $1,459.60. That's unbelievable. That's not even half the cost of what it cost me. Like it's a little bit more than double and that's really a great value. That means I'm getting a lot for my money when I buy these boxes. The other items in here that would be my favorite for notions, this rotary cutting mat, I think this will be very handy for me, especially on trips. That little rolling press that is from Lori Holt that I really liked. In terms of like helping with construction, I absolutely love getting these. These are like some of my favorite things because I love foundation paper piecing. So having these really help. I know I do have a half square triangles on a roll too in here that I really like. Two and a half inch squares are impossible to do on your own. To do it with foundation paper piecing, you know, I really like that. But these are great. I love having, especially the wild geese ones that are in a square. This is going to be really handy. Now when I say two and a half inch half square triangles are impossible for a beginner like me, not for advanced users. You guys, you rock it, you have your own methods. I always say you do you and I do me and it just works out in the end and I think that's the way it goes. In terms of like accessories or unique items, I really like the Riley Blake beauty kit. I thought that was kind of fun, but I'm really loving this little project bag. Isn't that cute? And as far as the pattern, well, you guessed it. It would be the Zen Chic Ambience pattern that I really like. These are Fat Quarter Shop design patterns, and I really like it. This is kind of like totally my jam, and it's totally modern strip quilting, and it's really nicely put together. I'm really excited about that. I can't believe I finally did this video. <laughs> We're celebrating, celebrating 22 subscribers in the last six weeks. I think that's something to get excited about. Remember you guys, what we do here isn't just making things. We change lives because we make things, because we are into the things we love and we have a passion to share. And that is such an important thing in today's world. Sharing kindness is not just about sharing what you love. It's also about sharing love period. I want to thank Fat Quarter Shop for providing one of the best subscription boxes. If you want to sign up for one of these boxes, all you have to do is go to fatquartershop.com, find the Sew Sampler subscription, and sign up. Remember, I'm not sponsored, you guys. I pay for all my boxes. This is what I do. I love it, and I love sharing it with you. Remember, let's get the word out that the quilting camper is a thing. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below about what was your favorite thing in this unboxing of 20 four boxes. <laughs> I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy. And I actually don't have any bloopers in this reel. That's really bizarre. I would love to hear from you. And is this something that's exciting to you? I know this video might be a little long, but it's special. It's a unique celebration. Also, make sure to share these videos. Find out what is going on in my world on thequiltingcamper.com. I finally did update the blog recently, but I still need to work on it some more. I'm just trying to create more content. This week, I will also be filming an unboxing on a brand new 3D printer from Bamboo Labs. I'm so excited. I've been using 3D printers in my craft room for quite a while. I know I had a little video short where I shared where I made a cute little post-it note holder. And of course I have this really cute bowl that I made with my cute green color for the quilting camper. And I found some really great tools that I can use with my burning of feet and bobbins that work on that Ikea Scadis pegboard system. And they're all over the place on the 3D printing blog. To be honest, you guys, I have to do is search for what you want and you can print it. They don't charge you any money. You just can't share it as your own. It's really cool. And each 3D printer has their own site that you can go with. And there's thousands and thousands of things you can print that are in the sewing and organizational world. And I'm just loving it. Wait for that box. And that's coming soon. Okay, y'all. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate you. And see you on the next one. Bye for now. Once again, thank you for watching. Check out some of my other YouTube videos on my channel, The Quilting Camper. See you really soon.